Craig, disappointing uh, loss on the opening day, but can you give us our rundown? Yeah, well first of all congratulations to Kings Langley on their win. Uh, just a bit gutted for our lads really. Uh, there'll be plenty of times this season where I go in and I speak to the lads and I'm disappointed with them. Today is absolutely not one of those days. Um, I'm gutted for them actually. Um, didn't think we dominated the game, I thought we definitely had the, the, the lion's share of the game. Um, we certainly had more... Big moments in the game, they took them, we didn't take ours. Uh, and like I say, yeah, congratulations to Kings Angry, but we go again Tuesday. Yeah, that's what I was going to pick up that point of next uh, quick turnaround to yeah. play uh, Beaconsfield. How do you deal with that? Uh, obviously, you'll see the team yeah. over the coming days, but straight away back into it. How do you respond to it? Yeah, the analysis team will be working on uh, Beaconsfield, so we'll hopefully know a little bit more about them. Uh, the preparation will start for that tonight. Um, the lads will get clips and some footage about what the game plan will look like. Um, trust our lads to go on and uh, get some points on the board on uh, Tuesday because uh, we certainly probably deserved it today. Yeah, it, w it was a tough one with missing a, a few good chances. Yeah. And obviously, like you said, they took their chance. Yeah, I mean, football at this level and higher is about fine margins and taking your moments when they come. Uh, they took theirs when theirs came and we didn't take ours. So, um, but the lads will learn from it and we go again. Certainly no, uh, no complaints my end. We just need to make sure that we, uh, we review, we learn next time. Yeah, I just want to ask you, away from this game as well, on injuries, uh, we haven't seen Deeney, Sam Jenkins for a while, uh, have you got an update on them? Yeah, so uh, Jenko is probably going to be a couple of weeks, hopefully not too long, yep. uh, on the back of the injury he got last week at Tuffley, and Deneen is looking a little bit more longer term, which is a shame, because yeah. he's a, obviously a big threat for us at the top end, he's probably looking more like September, maybe mid-September before he even maybe starts getting in training again, so he's going to be a little bit further. Tuesday. Uh, thank you for your time, Craig. Time and, uh, commiserations. Thanks.